Hey guys, it's Aaron. I'm here on the big island in Hawaii with the BW Space Pro. Super excited to show you how to use it. Let's get it going. Here we are, here's all our components. I'm gonna go through them real quick and show you how to use them. The first thing you need to know is that this is the Wi-Fi repeater. This is what you're gonna to connect to with your smartphone or tablet to access the drone. Um, the second thing you need is the tether cable. This is going to see how you connect the two. And then the third thing is your remote. Obviously you need to use your own tablet or iPhone on there. And of course you need your BW Space Pro. So let's go ahead and show you how to connect it. So first off, what you need to know is the tether cable has two different sides. One has a loop on it and one doesn't. So the one with the straight side goes straight into the Wi-Fi repeater. You just want to align the notches up good to go. You'll see a status light come on when it's in. The one with the loop goes into the drum. So you're going to line the same thing, line the notch up. You'll hear a chime. That means it's, it's alive. So once you twist this on, make sure it's nice and snug. You're going to want to grab your tablet or iPhone, slide it unlock, and now you get a key of what I'm seeing here. It's pretty cool. Alright, so there's a setting button on the top right, and this is how you change your control mode. So you can either do app control or stick control. Once your Bluetooth uh, remote is on, you can click stick control and it'll switch. See? It'll say connecting, connecting. Click off, you're good to go. There's also four modes for buttons there. So there's one, two, three, and four, and it just depends on your preference. I like mode two because it's kind of standard for air drones as well. Um, you have all your video settings, there's a lot, you can to kind of check those out. All your battery capacity settings, and then of course extras for storage and firmware updates. You can also see which way your drone is facing by the nice compass on the top left. You can see your machine's battery life, you can see your Wi-Fi repeater's battery life, you can see the water temperature as well. And here, this is a very interesting button. This is your tilt control. So you can go down 45 degrees and it tilts down, or you can tilt up 45 degrees and it'll tilt up. You can see it's trying to look out of the water now. So that is really cool. Um, you also have the uh, LED control. So this here you can go from 100% light to zero. Uh, you have your speed. This is how quickly the motors are gonna work. I actually prefer low, it seems a little bit easier to steer. And you can also go down to a certain depth and hit this button, which is the depth control. And that'll allow you to kind of hover in place as you look around, which is very good. So yep, that's it. And then you just explore and have fun. It's pretty straightforward.